This video is brought to you by The Green Room, a thriving community of thrifters. Bonafide Hustler here! Bonafide Hustler here! It's December, it's freezing, but it's time for some garage sales. What's up guys, Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of the mystery spaceship. Cruising through the galaxy at Mach B speeds. I'm still hustling, I haven't made any videos in a while, but I've been hustling, I just haven't been filming. Anyway, it's good to see everybody back again. And if you support Bonafide Hustler videos, then you know what? Burn the .0028 of a calorie right now and hit that like button over there. That's where I think it is, I think it's there this time. Hey guys, also, if you're interested in getting our 100 amazing items to resell guide for free, look down below. It's the first thing in the description link and you can get that guide for free. You know, a lot of the items that I hustle that make the bread and butter of my business, it's all in that guide. So go check it out. It is free, 100% free. Look down below, there's a link and uh, it'll be in the description box. You gotta go and get it. I won't tell you again. You gotta go and get it. I won't tell you again. It's a beautiful day here in Austin, Texas. It's 41, and to me, that's cold. So, I don't know. You're probably like, oh, bona fide, you're such a big word that rhymes with dusty. All right, so the first garage sale of the morning is sitting right there. There's a lot of stuff at this one. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm sick of waiting for your answer. I'm going right in. All right, guys, what a score. Paid five bucks for this Rubbermaid trash can. All right, big winner, Bonafide Hustler. I'm having a party soon. I need a trash can <laughs> for Mr. Keg. Hey, look, this guy's having a party too. He just put a trash can in the back of his. Five bucks, it's a good deal. Otherwise, I'd either have to rent one, which is really stupid, or buy one, so. Save money either way. Okay, garage sale number two looks pretty terrible. Uh, we're gonna have to go check this one out. Stat. Um, yeah, that just doesn't look that great. You guys see it? Ah, there it is. I don't know about this one. I really just don't know about it. You know what they say, you can't judge a kook without his lover. What? All right. Heading in, heading in, here we go. Okay, so I didn't find anything at that one, but I'm now in a different neighborhood, and uh, this one should be pretty good. I like this neighborhood a lot, and uh, it's still cold outside. I need some sort of caffeine system in my body, so we're gonna get that taken care of here pretty soon. It looks like the garage shield's right over there. Oh, I've hustled this one before. Now that I see it, I hustled something really cool from here, actually, last time. Oh, man, this thing looks huge. TWSS! Whoa! It's behind all those cars. It's so big, there are a bunch of people that freaking parked right in front of it, so I can't even show you guys how cool it is. But let's go see. Okay, so I thought I did really well at this garage sale. I wanna show you guys what I found. Um, what did I spend? I spent 15 on these games right here. So let's take a look at them. We got Madden 95 in box with everything right there we have bases loaded in box we have smush box but killer instinct super nintendo right there and then here's the one i want i want to play real bad mortal kombat 3 in box um oh here's another one we have ken griffey major league baseball in box cool and then, um, for two bucks, I spent for, um, I, these are just tests, Las Vegas. It's not the, quite the city mug, but it is a Starbucks mug right there. So Las Vegas one and um, it looks like this other one, City of St. Louis. And then for 30 bucks, 
I got this iRobot Scuba right here, which is humongous. So look up the price on this thing. I'll probably put a price around on the video, but iRobot Scuba, 30 bucks used twice. Oh my God. This is the score of the day. There it is. All right, so there's a garage sale right here, which is like right down the road. Let me just see what I can find here. All right, so I got three different iPods right here. Got an eight, a 16, and then some random one right here. And I paid 40 bucks for all three. I'm gonna throw them to eBay. We'll see what the prices will be later. So we arrived at Sorrento's Coffee after that amazing find of the iPods. Let's see if I can get a dopio here. So we haven't seen Sorrento's Coffee before in my videos. Let's try this dopio. I have no idea what it's gonna be like. What do you guys think? And by the way, what is your energy delivery device of choice? Let me know, I wanna see it down below. Is it a Monster, is it a Red Bull? Is it a freaking NOS? Do they even still make NOS energy drinks? Is it kombucha? Is it freaking yerba mate? What is it? Is it coffee? Is it espresso? What is it? What? What the? What is it? What is it? What is it? All right, guys, so let's see what this thing tastes like. Mm, oh, sh what am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta show you guys what's up. I gotta show you. Oh, man, this is like, dang, man, 44 ounce dopio here. Wow. Every part of the bean got squeezed on this one. Shoot, there's like probably no bean left. It's all in here. Okay, guys, well, cheers to your hustling day out there. Remember, like the video if you love the Bonefight Hustler videos. You know, that really helps me out. The more likes I see on a video, the more videos I'll start making. So, like the video. I order you. Here we go. Smells a little burnt. Not gonna lie. It's a 1.2 ah, yeah. I give it a 1.2 ah on the Victor scale. Victor, it's bona fide Richter scale, all right? Victor scale, 1.2, sorry. But yeah, you know what? Right after that last garage sale, I really needed one. This is as pure as it gets. I urge people, get out there and try Dopio. It's kind of gross the first 10 times, maybe five times, whatever. Then after a while, Make sure you try different dopios and you'll start realizing like, wow, it's like having 70%, uh, 80%, 90% dark chocolate when you're used to having Dove, right? It's the same kind of thing. You're like, oh, I get, you get to see, you get to see what you're kind of missing, right? You get, and you get to like sense all the notes and the different things in the ground that contributed to this coffee right here or that chocolate. Mmm. Dopio is still dopio. It's good, you know? It's just not five all good. All right, so I'm leaving Sorrento's. Dopio is now taken care of. And I feel I feel good. I feel like the, uh, the dopio now at this point is at about my upper ab level. It's progressing through my entire body. It's about like right here right now, okay? And uh, by the time it gets to my knees, I'm gonna be going faster throughout the day. So, got a couple more, maybe three more garage sales lined up. You might be thinking, man, Bonafide Hustler, you haven't gone to many garage sales. Well, it's freaking cold outside, first of all. Second of all, there are a lot of garage sales, but I got some secret plans later on um, involving some retail arbitrage type stuff. Uh, I can't put that on this video because it's like, you know, it's more like a thing for myself, I guess. I don't know. But I have important plans later, so I'm cutting the day a little bit on the short side. But uh, yeah, I'm about to be at the next garage sale. There's even a Goodwill down here. Maybe I'll pop into that Goodwill. We'll see what happens. But it's a beautiful day. Man, I want to get on my bike today. And uh, when I say it's cold, it's really not that cold anymore. It's 48. But, uh, you know, Bonafide's a big, fat, you know, word that rhymes with uh, Gussie. Which is not even a word in the first place, but you know what I'm saying. Um... We're gonna go to this garage sale and uh, Big Fat Bonafide Goosey is gonna find some awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Can't wait. Got cash on deck sitting right there. 
I just wrapped up a Periscope too, which was a Dopio Periscope. So that was pretty cool. You gotta find me at YouTube Hustler. Not even kidding. You wanna see some live Hustler action. You know, that's where you gotta find it. All right, I arrived at this Goodwill. I couldn't help myself. I gotta get in this place. So let's see, most recent find of this one, a pair of cool pants. Oh, I know, on Periscope, people are like, oh my god, another pair of cool pants. I'm just trying to let you guys know that cool pants are very good things to hustle. You know, it's like an average price of 53 bucks. So some sell at like 50, some sell at like 57, a couple pairs at 63. 50, 53 bucks. Cool pants are great things to hustle. I'm just trying to let you guys know. You gotta check it out. So KUHL. It's a big brand that I've freaking messed with. You'd love it. So uh, I'm gonna pop in here and uh, check it out. It's 10 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top going to Goodwill. Okay, so I bought this rock band uh, USB hub thing on uh, FBA. This thing is registering at around 40 bucks. Paid 583 for it. You know, I'm gonna describe that their box is not in the perfect condition, but it's pretty close. I mean, it's brand new, you know. So there we go. That was the find of today from that Goodwill. I wish it was this down jacket, but this is my down jacket. So anyway, off to a garage sale or two and uh, call it a day. All right, so this next garage sale should be somewhere close to here. Oh, I think I see it. It's like one of those garage sales that says like at the corner of this and this, but it's not at the corner. It's just a little further down the street. So I see a bike. That's a good sign. Let's check this thing out. Look at that. Ooh, I like it. All right, so I popped on this marquee back here. I think it's a marquee. I don't know what these things are called, but it's an old school one. Uh, not, you know, it's a little old. It's kind of retro. I don't know. Anyway, so that was five bucks. Gonna throw it in my booth for about thirty to forty. Uh, popped on Tailspin for two bucks right here, sitting right there. Not bad, Nintendo cartridge. Um, I also popped on this BB gun, a Beeman, which is cool. It's like actually pellet gun. So a price to be determined on that one. And then uh, the last thing I popped on is a uh, tablet, a Google drive tablet or something like that so 10 bucks took a swing we'll see what happens but yeah that bb gun's pretty sick i'm telling you man the recoil on this thing's crazy all right so maybe one of the last garage shells of the day is right here it's balancing on top of my finger Whoa. all right i gotta check this one out you know it's not a bad day so far found some cool stuff feeling pretty good what are you guys finding out there let me know i would love to see it in the comments all right so I popped on this right here, 1992 Crayola tin for three bucks, and it actually has the crayons inside. So I'll put this in my booth for about anywhere between 10 and 15. So pretty good. It'll probably move faster in my booth than it would on eBay, for example. Um, then I got this right here for all my FBA receipts. We all know what this is. This little filing thing when you, you open it, it expands like a freaking accordion. And uh, I need to put all my FBA receipts into one of these things just for fourth quarter. So I've been hunting around for them. I'm not gonna pay full price for one of those things. They're everywhere. You know, that's one of the things about Helsing that I think is so amazing is you actually don't buy a whole lot of anything that's full price anymore because you get to realize, you know, if you look and you put some time into this game that really your entire life can be thrifted items and you can take the rest of the money that you saved, put it to something else that's really cool. And hopefully it's something neat like, I don't know, property or uh, business or something like that. So, um, I'll go to one more. One more garage shell. One more. Man, this day is so pretty. Oh, love the sunlight. Love it. Makes me feel so good. So this last garage shell is actually on this street right here. <laughs> and it's classified in Craigslist as huge garage shell. But look on the street. It's on the street called Pecanio. <laughs> Play on words. Ooh, it looks like a retired. Ooh, lots of old stuff. Uh, antique person, dealer, I don't know. I gotta check it out. Last garage sale of the day on Pequeno Street. <laughs> Pequeno. <laughs> ah, let's go. All right, so I didn't find anything at that garage sale. You know, it turns out maybe my uh, potential profit on that place was at <laughs> Pequeno. So, uh, hey, if you do like the video, I gotta end it right here, I'm sorry.
But if you do like the video, hit the like button down there. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, also, don't forget to find me on Facebook at The Bonafide Hustler. Don't forget about the 100 Amazing Items to Resell Guide. It is free. It's in the link below right there. Go get a guide for free. I'm not even kidding. Um, and then uh, we'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy. And goodbye! Stereo like switching devices. Um, I spent about seven for each one of these. Okay, so 67 bucks for everything here. So let's say that this one right here on FBA, very low rank, selling. Uh, this is basically mint, but the, the box is dented. So this one on 